Business schools say that change fails 70% of the time. That statistic is nonsense. Change fails about 45% of the time on average, but sometimes in some organizations it succeeds 85% of the time, and sometimes in some organizations it fails 85% of the time. Which 85% you're in with your organization will depend on how you lead and manage change and what your organizational capability is. Hi, I'm Paul Gibbons. I'm the author of The Science of Organizational Change, a book which attempts to put some science into the craft of change management. So what will you learn from the book? Well, one of the things you'll learn which of the things that are taught in change management are based on pure mythology. You'll also learn to be slightly more discerning about which pop leadership ideas you use in leading change in your business. You'll learn the latest in behavioral science and in influencing. You'll also learn about cognitive biases and the kind of mistakes in decision-making that you and your team are making systematically when it comes to risk, decision-making, optimism, and planning. Super important for change. In fact, The Science of Organizational Change was the first book that attempted to comprehensively uh, list what businesses could do to help manage cognitive biases in their business. You'll also learn about something called evidence-based management, how you can more use more science when you're deciding on policy in organizations, and we have a chapter on the psychology of risk. I'm not an academic. I have been a business school professor, but I'm what you might call a roving scientist. So there are insights in the book, not from traditional business writing, but from psychology, sociology, neurobiology, neuroscience, some from political science, some from medicine, some from philosophy, some from mathematics. The book is, the design of the book is to bring and harvest all of that information from the human sciences and put that to work to help business leaders manage change using more science and evidence-based methods. And so that's what the book's about. It's available on Amazon. It's $17.99 in paperback form, $9.99 in Kindle. If you're watching on YouTube, there'll be a link in the notes below. If you're watching on my website, click the link. Don't forget to say like to this video. I hope you really enjoyed the book. Please leave me any feedback and thanks for listening. Paul Gibbons.